Yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy EQ. I'm out this morning. They really did nothing. This week it's been rainy. So uh, my BM got a little dirty on me. So I uh, figured I'd make a video on how I do things. Uh, I made a video on this a long time ago. <clears throat> but uh, I figured I'd make another one today. Uh, this is my BMW rim. Me personally, this is just me. If it works for you, then hey, you do you. I would never spray acid up on my rim, ever. Not this type of car. Uh, sometimes um, if a rim is real rusty or whatever, you know, you're trying to get the rust off, uh, you may have to spray acid up on there. Uh, people feel different ways about acid. Me personally, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I just rather use my EQ all purpose to break everything down. All right, so what, uh, what this video consists of, I'm gonna break everything down the way I do things. And if you figure that you wanna use my method, fine. But if you got a method that works for you, by all means, if your customer or your client is satisfied, by all means, you continue to do what you do, okay? All right, let's get it started. This is my EQ All Purpose. It's a citrus based, so that's why I like using it. Because acid, if you look at the back of the bottle or if you investigate acid, acid is actually used for concrete, not rims. But like I said, if it works for you, some people like it, well, they can just spray it off and go. Me, on these type of cars, which you guys seen the type of cars that I do, I don't do it because if you read the back of the bottle, it'll tell you in due time, acid will break that rim down. So it is what it is. All right, let's get started. Normally, I would use my big spray bottle. But um, I made a boo-boo the other day and ran over it. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. See, I don't have to use much because this is a citrus base. It's uh, made of oranges, and it breaks the, um, uh, the dirt and the grime off that rim safely. So let me get my bucket. What I do, I got two kind of willies, very soft, and I won't have to move this car because it's flexible. And how you dare you know, some people move the car forward. Like I say, if it works for you, do it. I'm just a detail that does stuff my way, and it works for me. You feel me? All right, I got two kind of willies, uh, got the small one, and then I got the big one. Depends on how size, uh, how big that rim is, is what you decide. Because if you got a small section of that rim, you're not going to be able to fit the big one in there, okay? As you can see, I let this sit up on there for a while. It's not going to hurt the rim like acid will. You got about 30 seconds with acid. Me, I can sit, there and sit this whole thing on there while I'm washing the car. But I start with the rims first, okay? So, what I'll do, let's get it started, baby. I, mean, I like taking real good care of my cars because you never know uh, when you want to trade them in. So that's why I take so good care of them. You know, most of the time. Okay, now if you see the brake caliper, I will have to move this forward or bag it up a little bit. Okay, but it's just a, a video that I'm showing you guys. I don't want to waste too much time on um, this particular subject because I want to show you guys the whole car, okay? All right, so what I normally do for the holes, the caliper, I don't do anything harsh to this rim. You can use microfiber rags or whatever you want to use on this rim.
Okay, now for the tire, what I normally use, I use an old microfiber rag because it seems to take the old uh, shine off and prepare for the new shine. So the EQ all purpose is already breaking that oil down from the uh, tire shine. Let me get my rag. See, this is what I'm talking about. It'll break it down and you can apply your new application, okay? Now we're gonna rinse this rim right quick and then we'll move to the next one, okay? I haven't cranked my equipment up. Let's see how easy it is to crank up. That rim is ready. That's why I would say get you some equipment that cranks right up. All right, let me go ahead and finish the rest of these rims, and then we go to the next subject. Okay, guys, <clears throat> on my BMW 5 Series, I already wet the car down. You can do two things. You can wet it down and then wash it, or you can foam it and wash it. It doesn't make no difference to somebody like me. To each his own. Today, I'm going to foam it. Some days, I don't foam it. But my point is this right here, what I'm trying to, uh, my main objective is this. When you're wetting your car down or you're using a um, pressure washer like I'm using, never put your pressure washer straight on the emblem. You know what I mean? Like my BMW has emblems on the hood, it has emblems on the back, and it has emblems on the tire. Don't go shooting it straight into the emblem because these emblems are only connected in by holes, and you'll pop that emblem right out of there. Okay, so be very careful when you're dealing with... Um, Prestige cars, you know, high-class, high-end cars, uh, like the ones I be doing. Uh, so you got to be very careful, little tricks of the trade or whatever. So let's go ahead and foam this down, okay? We'll foam it down, and then and, uh, then we'll start the washing with the EQ Gold Soap, okay? So let's get the foaming. <clears throat> like I said, I always use the universal nozzle. Some people don't like them, some people do. Whatever works for you and how. You there. <clears throat> now, I already got the gas cap open on the other side. If I don't teach you guys nothing else, open the gas cap, man. People go to pump the gas, and they got all this stuff inside the gas cap. And they're like, damn, he ain't clean nothing. Fact. Let me crank her up. Like I said, this is not necessary. You don't have to, but it's fun. <laughs> Okay, it's not a lot of foam on there. I didn't add a lot. I just had some left in my bottle and I don't believe in wasting my money. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put the, uh, my universal nozzle back on. When you put your nozzle back on, make sure that thing is tight in there. I mean, it'll pop right out on it if it ain't locked in. 
Now you'll see a lot of video where guys foam a car down and then they rinse it off and say it's clean. Boy, stop. Come on, man. Come on. All right, what I'm gonna do next? I got my reversible mitts just to get the bugs off the bottom. This is to wash the car, okay? So let's wash it down and see how it look when I'm done, all right? Okay, guys, I'm done washing it. I'm gonna get ready to dry it. And people always ask me, say, man, your car be clean as all. I mean, clean when you get through drying. How do you dry your cars? Depends on what type of car I'm doing. I use a squeegee. I use a, uh, uh, just a regular microfiber rag. But on these type of cars, the high-end cars, I use nothing but microfiber rags. And what I do, this is a thick one. You see how small this one is, though? But it's thick. But I don't use it first. I use the long towel first. You see, this is a double-sided towel. One for drying and one for um, taking the wax off. So this is the one I use first. And I don't wipe hard. I let the rags do the job. Watch what I mean. Okay, once I get done doing that right there, I throw this one over my shoulder, what have you. See, it doesn't suck. It doesn't dry up the majority of the water. Now you come out with your thick towels. Like I said, you shouldn't have to wipe hard if you got good towels. If you notice, I'm not going around in circles. How you wash a car will determine if you're gonna have swirl marks and all that scratch, look like spider webs. Be careful, okay? Even with the windshield, I do the exact same thing. I don't wipe hard. Now, if I was gonna wax my car, I would use air to blow everything out before I started to dry it. Because when I started to wax it, I don't want the water to get in the way of the wax. You know, harden my wax like cement. You see what I'm saying? So you wanna blow everything out of this bad boy before you start to wax. All right, all right, let me get done. We'll show you guys, you know, what it looks like. But I use the two, two rag method to dry it off. Depends on what kind of car are you doing. This is a high-end car. I will never, use a squeegee or whatever on it. It won't damage it, it's just me. I'm in particular about a certain car and how I'm gonna do that certain car, okay? It's just that over the years, uh, I found a system that works for me, all right? So let's finish it up. Okay, guys, here's a little trick that I use, EQ use. Okay, I'm getting ready to open the doors up and dry the door jams out. Now, drying the door jams, you notice I have different color rags. I use different color rags for different things. For instance, the door jams. I'm gonna use the maroon rag to do my door jams and the trunk and all that. This is just what this rag is particularly for. With well, these color rags, I got a whole bunch of them. All right, door jams. 
Now when I get ready to wipe my rims off after I done uh, vacuum it out, I'm gonna show y'all how an, another technique that I use to, to dry the rims. I use a black rag. That's how I know this uh, what this is for. It's black. Okay? For the windows, I use the two rag method. I use the surgical rag and I use the microfiber rag, blue. You see, blue for windows. That's what I do. That's the technique that I use. So you got the maroon for your door jams. You got the black for the tires and rims, or basically for the rims. You got the two blue ones, surgical, microfiber rags for the windows, okay? All right, let's get it in. All right, guys, what we basically have here is a rim and the tires. Just showing y'all different scenarios, depends on what I'm doing. Like I said, it depends on what kind of car I'm doing. If I'm doing high-end cars, I'm very careful because I want to maintain that car like my own. Uh, this is the BMW 528i. Uh, beautiful car. I mean, well, as you can see, uh, I really done some work on this car you know, when I first got it. And uh, I want to keep it that way as long as I can. My wife's car is a 2010. And people ask her all the time, you know, uh, that she had a new paint job. That's because it takes care of the paint. And uh, I clean my cars as much as I can because this is a reflection of who EQ is. So, no further ado, let's get to this rim. Show you another guy a great technique of getting the waters off the rim and stuff like that. Make sure that you have a, a, um, a multiversal vacuum, wet back, and dry back. So, as you can see, I got black rags. It's for the rims and tires, okay? And you guys, get you a stool or get you something that you can sit on. Don't go to bending over all the time because over time, it's going to start to irritate you. Your back is, okay? So take care of your health more than your money because your money ain't going to mean nothing if your health is bad. And how? You're there. First thing I'm going to do, suck the water out of those holes. Don't go scratching hard. No. Let the air do the work. And most of your water is going to be at the bottom of the rim. That's where this comes in at. Suck it right out of there. Guys, you ready to wipe that rim down? All right, let's get the other three. This is just another technique, guys. If it works for you, fine. If your one, if, if, if for your way works better, do you. I'm just showing you the way EQ do it. You know, you get a lot of people on your channel, they want to irritate you, don't let them. Oh, that ain't the correct way to do that. Oh, that's garbage right there. All the way to the bank. <laughs> all right, let's get done with the rest of them. All right, guys, I'm all done with my BMW. The sun is coming out just in time. <laughs> yeah, boy. There we go, guys. Yep. 
as you can see what the EQ all purpose did from my rims got the EQ blue sky tire shine um, <clears throat> guys always take care of your own vehicle man because when you're riding around people gonna always ask you man who cleaned your ride you know and you want to be able to tell them you did you know so you guys can see I even sprayed my EQ thick uh, spray wax on there after I got done because when I first got the car I washed and waxed it clay barred it compounded it. so now I just got to maintain it all right so let's look at the inside of this bad boy everything is wiped down smells real fresh and I'm gonna show y'all guys why it smells fresh I got a new product that I just made up and it sold out on the street so I figured it'd be great product for you guys Let's see go come on around there you guys go she's clean let's go in the shop here all right this is my new smell good stuff that's going to be in the store monday guys I had my car door open, and the guy come up, he said, man, what you got in your car, man? That stuff smells good, and I showed him, and I sold him one. So I made up about 12 of these, but they're in the 16-ounce bottles, and man, I sold out in just a couple hours. So I think we're going to set the price about 10 bucks uh, for a 16-ounce, and uh, it's some smell good stuff, buddy. I'm telling you. But anyway, man, it's your boy EQ. Let me go up here and get dressed and get ready for work, man. You guys be cool. I hope my videos help you out. Uh, to my man King, holler at me the other day. My new subscriber, I appreciate you, King, man, for subscribing to my channel. All you new subscribers, all my old heads, love you guys, man. Keep grinding. Don't let nobody stop you from grinding. Grinding is the name of the game.